Bubble Pop Kids here, and I cannot wait to show you all of the cool new Barbie makeup I found. I was out shopping yesterday, one of my favorite things to do, and when I came across all of this stuff, woo, I went crazy. I just did not know what to do. I bought every single thing I saw with Barbie on it. I even have more. I'm gonna do that in another video. For this video, we're just gonna look at these things, and I can't wait to open them. If you guys love makeup and Barbie like me, you are going to love to see all of this stuff. And once we're done, we are going to open some Shopkins. I have a throwback season two basket and a happy places. Boop. Time to waste. We got to get our Barbie beauty on. Let's do this. Here's the first piece up and probably my favorite favorite out of everything. That's why I'm showing you first. It's got this really cool version of Barbie on there, kind of like a cartoon or a comic book character. And it looks like a little book. Ooh, I love those stripes. Love the colors. And when you flip it open, look at this. You are gonna love it. It is filled with makeup. When I saw this, I just thought maybe it was like an eyeshadow palette. I really had no clue. And when I opened it up, oh, I saw so much stuff in here. Would you look at this? It is filled. It's got eyeshadows, blush, eyeliner, eyeshadow primer. We get a little lipstick, an applicator, and it's just so, so beautiful in there. On the flip side, ooh, look at all these cute little decorations, little mascaras, little Barbie accessories. You get a mirror. It's super big, so you can apply all your makeup if you're on the go. Time to look at all of this. And this little book gets even better because when you flip back the mirror, look at this. It is a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial on how to apply this and get the Barbie look. You can either go for the daytime doll, it's a little more subtle, or the nighttime doll, a little more dramatic. It's just so cool. I think I am in love with this thing. There are just so many cute things going. They're so decorated. I love the packaging. I love these cute little polka dots on here. And now we gotta test out the pigments. So on this palette slash makeup book, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different shadow colors. And looking at them, they look super pigmented. They are the powdery ones, not the cream. Some are sparkly, some are a little matte and they have the cutest names. I'm just gonna get my finger and swatch out these colors. I'm gonna do the first three. We have Dreamer, Sparkle Up, and Sleek and Chic. It's kind of like a Barbie blue. Do it. Here's my little swatch on my hand, and these are the first three colors. And the one that's popping out the most to me is the Sparkle Up. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. It is so shimmery and silvery. I love it. The white is pretty too. It's nice for a natural look, but the blue, you can't see it too well. Very little bit, kind of looks gray. So of these three colors, I love the sparkle up. Now we're gonna test out Lovely, Be Bright, and Shine On. Ooh, look at that purple. Here they are. Oh, these are so super beautiful. <laughs> these are like pinks and purples, but they are so nice. They're super subtle, not too dark. So the first one, Lovely, is kind of like the shimmery pink color, very light. I love it. That's something I wear every single day. The middle one is more of like a matte pink. It looks more like a cheek blush. I also love that color. It's so pretty. And the third is Shine On, is this amazing shimmery purple. Love those colors. The final three shadows before we test out all this other good stuff. Ooh, I cannot look at it, it's so cute. True Beauty Chocolate, ooh, it's like a brownish color, and Little Black Dress. Yikes, and these colors, some are a little bit darker. So for the True Beauty, I really, really like that. It's kind of a very soft lilac. It blends in so nice. It's really light, but I don't like wearing the dramatic colors too, too often. 
The chocolate one, I don't really like it. It kind of is like a purpley eggplant color. Not my favorite, <laughs> but the black is, I actually like it. It's so shimmery, it's super dark. I think you could just line your eye with this or do like a little smudge. But they are really highly pigmented. Those were the eyeshadows, and out of all nine of them, I have to say my favorite was the Sparkle Up. This color here, oh, it's so creamy, it's so bright. Really good. Next up on the palette, we get the Love Blush. <laughs> That's the name of it, and it is so shimmery. It's got a lot of dimension to it. And normally, I would never put this on with my finger. I would get a little blusher brush. But just to show you, that is the color. It's called Love Blush. It is beautiful. I really, really didn't expect it to be so nice. It's kind of a bronzer mixed with a pink blush. It's really, really shimmery. Kind of like a face highlighter. I love that. I think I'd wear that color every single day. At the bottom, we get, look at this, a Black Glam Liquid Eyeliner. This is so super cool because normally in these palettes, you don't see an eyeliner in there. Oh, look how cute it is. It has a little Barbie logo. It looks like a Barbie accessory, it really does. Normally, I don't wear eyeliner on like an everyday basis, only sometimes. And it's just like a little paintbrush. Ooh, it's really good though. Woo! Look how black that is. So nice and smooth. I love that. Next to the eyeliner, we get all set to go eyeshadow. And I am just loving... Ah! If I can get it. I love how it all has the Barbie logo. It's just so cute. You know, makeup normally doesn't have anything with all this decoration on it. So if you've never used an eyeshadow primer, you just get a little dot. Kind of looks like a foundation. You put it all over your eyelid, up to your brow bone, rub it in nicely. And then once it dries a little bit, you put the powdery eyeshadow on top. Kind of seals in the color. Every time I put on an eyeshadow, I always make sure to wear a primer because it just keeps the color sealed in. It lasts most of the day. This is the cutest though. It's got the Barbie logo. Who has an eyeshadow primer like this? It's so, so cute. And we get a pretty and pink lipstick. Oh, look at this mini lipstick. It is adorable. I don't know if it will have pigment. It just is so, so cute. Kind of looks like a hot pink color. Whoa, it does. Look at this little thing. It kind of looks like a lip balm or a baby lips, but as soon as you apply it, oh, it's got the most beautiful hot pink color. Oh, so, so nice. And this color just screams Barbie. I think it's the color she wears all the time. That is the best shade ever. So that was it, the Barbie Beauty Book, and it was amazing. I loved the eyeshadows. Every single piece of makeup in here was super good. The blush was beautiful. I think I could wear that every single day. And another thing about this, it's perfect for traveling. It's like one beauty book. It's got a lot of different things in here. You just need a couple extras. The best. We are moving on to the Barbie Shine On Lip Crayon Set. Can you believe this? Look how beautiful she looks there. It really does look like a comic version of Barbie. She's got her stripy bathing suit, kind of matches the box. The box is so cool, love it. So we get three different colors. They're kind of pinky ones. Let's try them. And I absolutely adore lip crayons because they're kind of like a mix between lipstick and gloss. They're really glossy, yet they have a lot of color. This one is red, kind of like a mauvey purple pink. Ooh, and this one is a super neon. Open it. Fresh out of the package, here's our three Barbie lip crayons. And I also love how they have that Barbie logo on there. Just so super different, such a cute thing to add to a collection. The first color is Dreamin' in Pink, ooh. And this one kind of reminds me of that tiny little lipstick that was in the makeup book. So cool, looks like a pencil. Oh, 
what I am in heaven right now. Look at this color, whoa. I just love that. You know, I love to wear natural makeup, like light colors, but when it comes to my lips, I do like a natural nude, but I think I could wear a pink like this every single day. Just put a little clear gloss over it. I'm in such shock right now. I loved it. Such a cute little stick, and it gave an amazing color. I can definitely tell this is going to be such a rich color. Would you look at that? It's kind of like an orangey red, but not really. It's darker than that. Ooh, it is. Oh, look at that. So, so pretty. Look how bright it is. It's funny because after looking at both of these colors, I like them both the same. Maybe the pink a little teeny bit more, but look at that. It's not super dark, really glossy. Final one, I'd say this is more of like a mauve or a dusty rose, really beautiful. It's called BFF, <laughs> what a funny name. So I'm just gonna put it right next to the other pink. Ooh. So that is the third color, BFF, and it's such a natural, kind of a nudish pink. Oh, I love it, I love all three of these. I never expected they would have these amazing colors. They're just too great. Here's another close-up of the lip crayons. Really, really good. I like them just as much as I like the makeup palette. Amazing color. Let's move on to the next treat. Here it is, and it's called Your Blushing. It is the Barbie Blush and Brush Set. Ooh, more blush. There was a little tiny block of blush inside of that makeup book, but now we get the bigger one. Oh, this is just so, so pretty. Look at that, it's got Barbie's face on there. Comes with this cute little blusher brush. And again, I just love the packaging on this. I love this black and white stripes. I wanna see if the boxes actually, they're just so, so cute. All right, we gotta open it and test it out. Here's the blusher brush. It is the perfect size. This is a super good size if you're traveling and you have a little makeup bag. It's not one of those big bulky ones. I love it. It's got the Barbie logo a fluffy white little blusher brush, and here is your compact. Got that different version of Barbie. I keep saying like comic book Barbie, but that's what it kind of looks like. And it's got the pink logo. I'm loving everything about this. It's my favorite color, and it looks so super shimmery. He looks super close. It's got all of these little silver sparkles in there. It's definitely not a flat blush. It's got a lot of dimension and shine. Just what I wanted, ooh, look at that. And I'm just gonna swatch it, and then I'm also gonna try it with the brush to see how it looks. Oh, it's so nice. It's really, really subtle. Kind of got a highlighter in it. Something you could wear every single day. It's, it's just so, so natural looking. The color of that is beautiful, ooh. <laughs> Actually, I would kind of call it like a cotton candy color too. It's got that cotton candy pink. I could just swatch it out all day, it's so pretty. And if you want to use the blusher brush, you just swirl it around. Ooh, blow on it a little bit and dust your cheeks. Ooh, and I love this because once you use it, that white brush turns this beautiful pink color at the end. It looks so much better like that. Kind of like an ombre look. There you go, your beautiful colored blush. That's the color, I love this compact. Couldn't get better than this. Here are the final three Barbie Beauty products we're gonna look at today before we get to this beautiful Barbie cosmetic pouch. We're gonna put all the stuff in there. And if you thought the last things we looked at were cute, woo, you have not seen these these three little single beauty products. Each one is just better than the next. When I, I just couldn't believe I found all this stuff on the same shopping trip. So here is the first one. It is Barbie Lip Smacker. Look at this amazing little tin it's in. That's definitely not your average lip smacker in that little lip balm stick. And the scent is Cotton Candy Love. It is, and of course it's sharing that whole theme with the other ones, those black and white little stripies and polka dots. Ooh, and here is your Lip Smacker Balm. Such a pretty color, I'm sure it won't give pigment. It's a really, really clear peachy one. 
let me tell you, it, it smells like a pure piece of cotton candy. Mmm, so moisturizing. To tell you the truth, I like the lip smacker in these little containers more than the chapsticks. So cute. Ah, it smells amazing. Here's another one, and when I saw this, I wasn't sure if it was lip gloss or lipstick, but it's definitely a lipstick, which you look at this. <laughs> Cutest package ever. It's called Barbie Pink. And I love those stripes. It's a little twisty tube. It's your Barbie Pink, and for sure it is Barbie Pink. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's shimmery, it's creamy. Just like the perfect lipstick. It's so, so nice. Kind of glossy. It's not too crazy dark. It's got this beautiful little container it's in. And if this doesn't scream Barbie, this hot pink color, I do not know what does. It's such a plain little bottle, but the Barbie logo on there just does it so nice. And it's called Little Pink Dress. Let's try it. And yet again, my nails are already painted. I don't want to ruin them and go over it, so I'm just going to swatch it on this lined paper. That's my usual thing that I do. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Look at this color! Wow, I was not expecting that. That is a super ultra neon, neon, neon pink. It's got little shimmery dots in there. Oh, it's so cool. I do not have a color like this right now. <laughs> This just went above and beyond how good I thought it would be. Yes, and we did it! We made it through this whole Barbie makeup haul. I am in heaven right now. This is like the best makeup I've seen in a super long time. And after, we're going to open up our Shopkins. But before that, we have to look at the final accessory. And it is a Barbie makeup bag. It's the Functionally Fun London Soho New York bag. Oh, there she is. I love the theme that's going here. Comic book Barbie. And just look at all the details. It's got a little mascara. It's got a little compact. Let's unzip. See how much room is in here. Oh, it even has little polka dots inside. It's got that Soho London, New York little logo on there. That's kind of cool. And I definitely think we can fit all of our stuff in here. Except that beauty book. All the other accessories. After seeing everything and all the colors, I would love for you guys to leave me a comment and let me know out of every single thing here, what was your fave? Now for a little Shopkins break. I love makeup, but my second favorite thing are the Shopkins. Oh, and we have a season two throwback. These are kind of rare to find. I had a couple left over from a while ago. And I hope we get a new one. Here's our pink and purple basket and our two little blind bags. Here's blind bag one and two. Let's see. It's funny because last time I opened one of these, it was actually a fake one. They were completely fake Shopkins. I hope they're real this time. What is it? What is it? No. <laughs> we got a dishy liquid, but it's not real. I have the worst luck with these season two. Sometimes I get fake ones. This is definitely a phony. Look at this dishy liquid. It's orange and blue. This is the real one. These are the real colors. Completely different. Ah, horrible. Here's the second one. I'm guessing this is gonna be fake too. What is it? We got baby wipes. This is so, so weird. Fluffy baby wipes are super fuzzy and like velvety. This is just plastic. I don't know who made this. Ew! <laughs> Look at this fluffy baby. This is not the real thing at all. First of all, the real one is a fuzzy baby shopkin. It's supposed to be soft and fuzzy. The colors are weird. This is the real one. Look at it. It's light blue. It's super fuzzy. This one is just horrible again. Boop. In our first blind basket, we got two fake and phony Shopkins. And for our little happy places, I think for sure this is real. I haven't heard of any fake happy places floating around. Let's see what we're gonna get. Whoa, I wanted this one. How cute. <laughs> This is not a duplicate. Oh, I got a little cactus. 
Here it is, oh, from the puppy parlor, we get the cactus pot plant. Oh, it's a little cactus in a planter. Adorable. See, I guess the other two are coming in from the puppy parlor as well. Oh, look at this little thing. Looks like a little storage box. Found it coming in at number 20, we got the magazine rack. Oh, little puppy rack. Ooh, and maybe we're going to get the little magazines to put in there. That's what I'm thinking. What do we have? It's a DVD coming in at number 60. Oh, it's like one of those little DVD boxes. It opens and closes. The line bags had no duplicates. We got three new ones. Cactus plant, magazine rack, and DVD. Hope you enjoyed it. Another fun video filled with Barbie cosmetics some Shopkins, and we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you'd like to subscribe to Bubble Pop Kids, all you have to do is click this big yellow bubble right here. It's got a little gumball machine in there, and you can subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.